From California State University, San Bernardino, it's Local Matters. Volunteerism in Japan Day. Hello, I'm Rachel Kanaka Oli, and welcome to Local Matters, featuring stories from across the Inland Empire. And I'm Kirstie Tesser. People, both young and old, have come to find an outlet through music. Reporter Paulina Hernandez reports how anyone can contribute to their community. A community has many ways to which people can have a better living. One of these ways is through the means of community involvement. The Harmonic Choir of Upland volunteer their time performing for senior citizens. The leader of this group tells us how it all started. This group was established when this uh, Gibson Senior Center was being built. We've been going on our 16th year now. There was a little ad in the retirement newsletter. Who would, uh, who could play the harmonica and would teach a lesson? So I volunteered. The members of the group enjoy performing and practicing the harmonica. I'm the youngest guy in the group, and they're all veterans. A lot of it brings back the old songs that people of our age are all familiar with. Most of the music today they don't even recognize, and I don't either. So for them, it's most enjoyable because of the song selections. For me, it's a big outlet. I enjoy doing it. No matter what, they always have a good time. We love getting together. It's very informal. Looking at the group, everybody has an issue. Usually it's a, a medical issue of some sort, but that doesn't seem to matter. You can forget your problems when we're playing, and what else can you do? Then have fun. It's great, fine, and wonderful, and uh, we're lucky with the musicians that we have. No matter who you are, the contributions that you give towards your own community can make for sweet harmony amongst all. For Local Matters, I'm Paulina Hernandez. Japan Day at CSUSB is a day in which students are welcomed into the Japanese culture. Japanese ambassador gives speeches to encourage students who have interests in the world. Reporter Alberto Rendon shows us more on this cross-cultural program. In modern days, Japan is one of the most important partners to the U.S. To help students understand Japan and its culture, CSUSB has an annual Japanese Day event. This event uh, is for the people who uh, like to know about the Japan, Japanese culture, and also to really open up their view about Japan and Japanese culture society. I brought my students uh, for Japanese 101, Japanese literature. Many people, you know, seem like enjoying and then great speeches, entertainment. Today we are honored to have Ambassador Ichiro Fujisaki as a, the main speaker for this event. I think this is rather different from uh, just reading newspaper or magazines and uh, also it's not only learning but they can enjoy themselves as well. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, it is really good for everyone to know Japanese culture. Students are interested in Japanese culture, so they, ask, they often ask me about Japan, and I teach them about it. Yeah, I'm very glad to uh, attend this event. Today's event is very really good. Yeah, um, I'm so happy to see Mr. Fujisaki. CSUSB International Exchange Office puts a lot of work and a lot of effort in letting people know what is happening in the world around them. For Local Matters, I'm Alberto Rendon. To keep updated on what Local Matters is doing, check out our Facebook and YouTube pages. I'm Kirstie Tesser. And I'm Rachel Kanaka-Oli. Join us next time for more local stories that matter.